Hello folks, how's it going? It is now Friday and it is business as usual. I just want to again thank you folks for your support and for those of you who don't understand why I went ahead and addressed this, I'm using it as a, it as a learning experience, okay? You know, many people's response is, you know, don't even give these people the time of the day. And uh, I tried not to, you know, and it got to a point where it's like, okay, I need to uh, uh, just for, for the sake of anyone who needs it. Because, again, I already knew that the people who actually care about me and know me, this is not an issue, you know. And um, if anything, it's just allowed me to experience even more clearly and strongly how much appreciation and love that I received from the world because that's all I'm given. I'm being honest, being real, being really Derek, and that's what I give. <clears throat> In the comments, um, uh, someone wanted to ask my opinion about Los Lobos. <coughs> the best way to frame my next comment is that for those that have been following me for a long time, um, par um, a certain amount of roots music um, I'm just tired of. I respect it, but it's like a lot of it. It's like I've heard it so much. I really want to hear something different. Um, there are certain the, some uh, roots and folk and ethnic musics are still interesting to me. I guess because they're still kind of exotic and they haven't been worn out. So with that said, I respect Los Lobos saw them um, live many, many years ago, and uh, afterwards got to hang out and party with them. I mean, you know, it wasn't just a meet and greet afterwards. I went and drank with these guys, you know. Great people. That's what I got to say about Los Lobos. And the bottom line of what I want to say about music is if, if you love it, well, love it. Critics be damned. Even if, even if I criticize music, you know, don't care. If you like it, you like it. You know what I'm saying? There's some music that's critically acclaimed that I don't give two rats ass about. And I'll say so. So, the hard part about life is that sometimes we just have to decide for ourselves, okay? So, Los Lobos is the kind of music I don't listen to. I'm not interested in it at all. I'm not interested in party music. You know, I can play party music in the party, in the setting, I can have a good time. But here at home, I'm not interested in hearing party music. Um, I'm really interested in mostly playing music that shows me something else, stimulates my imagination, allows me to, quite frankly, imagine I'm not in Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> sometimes, among other things, okay? But, um... <clears throat> So that's my take on them. Um, interestingly, last night I didn't play a lot of music because of, um, I spent a lot of time on Facebook. I went and posted all this mess on Facebook, letting people know, gathering support. Okay, I have nothing to hide. You know, <laughs> all the people that gave me money through this um, fundraiser, which I did not start, it was funded, it was started for me. They all said, we don't care what you do with the money. The only people that have asked, said shit about, well, you should get the money back, are people who didn't contribute, who are trying to um, create a false agenda. This whole um, scenario um, with uh, this ch very, very, ch this very childish group of people, whoever they are, coming at me just illustrates what I've been talking about: is that we live in the mind. You can believe anything you want, and most all, most. Most often, people with the least amount of information, without intelligence in, engaged, loose behaviors that cause a lot of problems and destruction. I'll make a comparison to Bush and Cheney. When they, were so sh when they lied to the American people about weapons of mass destruction, the American people fell for it and nothing but further travesty, tragedy, and tra and just harm done. And and what I'm going through or what what I'm not going through because I'm I'm it's nothing, you know. 
There's no issue. Um, this is another example of it. People getting a little bit of information and deciding for themselves they know what reality is and, and really fucking up. So notice I'm smiling because I know the truth about my situation, about who I am. Um, I'm just going to keep on keeping on. One of the records I'll show you that I played last night, which I didn't play very many, was this library music album called Sight and Sound, where in, indeed what you're hearing on here are pieces of music that could be used like in like, I can just imagine back in the 60s and 70s when you'd have to do a presentation to a company about a product. And um, this was before all the um, multimedia aids that we have now. You know, you would <clears throat> license this music to play in the background or to put on your video. Fine trucks, you know, make your business stronger. And that's what this music sounds like, you know. An orchestral suite of 16 variations on four themes suitable for industry, action, etc. That's the description. And that's what it sounds like. I love library music uh, records. Some of the music on them is really treacly and dreadful. But it's like that on purpose. And it's been written by someone that is pretty masterful at writing. So if you wade through the purposely uh, twee parts, you get to some really masterful uh, writing and playing. I like library music. Okay. All right, people. I'm keeping this one short. And I appreciate your love and support. Uh, keep on keeping on with what I'm doing. Hope that um, some people besides myself are willing to learn lessons from the things that happen daily. I know that I'm willing to 